Hi, I'm Connie Bunnett, and I'm feeling like I just ate a lot of food at Lollapalooza. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us back here in our Lollapalooza Lounge. Um, I wanted to talk to you really quick about just the attention that you've been receiving because Avant Gardner has really captured a lot of people's attention. It's not the most radio friendly song, but people are really gravitating to it. Are <laughs> you surprised at all by the amount of attention that you're getting? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it, it's not radio friendly at all. It didn't seem like it would be, you know, a number one hit or a catchy song or uh, or any of that. So, yeah, it was kind of, it, it was nice though. It was nice that so many people kind of um, connected with it in whatever way and, and um, yeah. You've gotten on people's radars and people are coming to your shows. They're buying the EPs. Have you thought about a full-length album and sort of like what that means now that there's expectations behind you? Yeah, well, um, we recorded an album in April in Melbourne and um, it's kind of cool. It, it, it was cool to work on a, on a full album as opposed to the two EPs were kind of recorded um, very um, in a very staggered way over kind of two years, like when I had enough money to do it or when I got money from the from the Australian government to fund um, you know studio time or something so this time we went into the studio and, and spent 10 days and did it but um, yeah it was nice to um, after touring for so long it was kind of nice to go and create something new mm -hmm. not that touring is not fun and not that playing the songs isn't fun but it's just like a different part of your brain um, is working to do different things so it's kind of it's new and fresh and exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think it is that is making the Australian music scene so fertile right now and so interesting? Lots of people ask me um, you know what's what's in the water in Australia it's kind of a really common question but I uh, I mean I've until last year I've never traveled outside outside of Australia so um, I've never really had anything to kind of compare it to but I just I think there's there's always amazing bands in Australia all the time I mean I've, I've grown up with them grown up seeing bands live and um, maybe I, I think one of the biggest things is just that it's so expensive for bands to travel outside of Australia so no one hears about them but um, but with the internet, it's kind of easier. But then there's a trillion bands on the internet, so mm -hmm. you don't know where to look unless like the number one media person, whatever they're called, is um, is talking about them. So I guess yeah, it it, it it's it's a kind of weird thing. But in my mind, uh, some of the greatest bands are and have been like since you know since. Back in the back in the day, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know, like the 80s. <laughs>